Hey everybody, The Real Deal here. I've got a full case of Cuphead Funko Mystery Minis to open up for you here. And as you can see as I'm opening this up, these were provided to me by mysterymini.com. So thank you so much to mysterymini.com for sending these to me to open up here. Mysterymini.com specializes in, of course, Funko Mystery Minis and Pint Size Heroes. They have a pretty good selection and their, their prices are pretty good. So definitely check them out. And the other neat thing is there's going to be a link in the description that you can use to get 10% off your entire order. And you can also use the promo code the real deal to get 10% off your entire order. Oh, there they are upside down. We're going to flip this over in just a second here. So check out their website. Remember, it's mysterymini.com. There's no S at the end. And I'll probably repeat all that at the end of the video too. But like I said, there's a, there's a cool promo link for you to save 10% on your entire order. So thank you again, mysterymini.com. So let's go ahead and dive into these awesome mystery minis here. So you can see there's King Dice there with Cuphead and Mugman. This is the little thing that goes on the back there. Okay, and as usual, let me just show you the box here. So there you go. Uh, that's just the back of it. And then there's some more of the characters there. Very neat. So Cuphead is an awesome game. I really like it. Um, it's pretty tough. It's definitely one of the more difficult games I've played, but the art style is beautiful. I love that they did it in the old, uh, you know, old cartoon style. It, it looks awesome. It's a great game. It's tough, so be prepared for a challenge, but it's pretty fun. And the art style is beautiful. So, as you can see, these are the characters we're going to get there. Uh, we've got a couple one and six figures, which is, uh, we've got three, we've got four one and six figures. So that's, I'm going to complain about this every Funko video I do. Stop doing so many one and six figures, Funko. Uh, and you've got two one and 72 rare figures. It just makes it so hard to get a complete set, so that's annoying. Um, but that said, these figures look pretty cool. So we're going to open these up, and let's see who we get. Now, this one's pretty heavy, so let's see who it is that we get in here. I'm trying to remember what everybody's name is on here. I don't remember a lot of these villains' names here. I thought I did, but now I'm looking at it going, oh, I don't remember who that guy is. So we'll see as we get through it here. There we go. Sorry, just adjusting the camera a little bit there so we can see a little better who it is we get. Oh, oh, we've got the pirate guy. and He's one of the ones whose names I don't remember. So it's nice that he comes on a big plank there. <laughs> so he'll stand up for sure. That's pretty cool. And now he is, all right, so he's one of the one in six figures there. But the figure looks really nice, very colorful. Really cool. Very nicely done. And let's see who else we get in here. Oh, this is another heavy one. So you know what? I bet this is going to be another pirate guy because usually what they'll do is they'll have two of the same figure right next to each other. And I wonder, I opened a case of Avengers Infinity War figures recently. And all the one and six figures, well, three of the one and six figures were up top. So I wonder if that's going to be the same thing here. And there we go. There's the other pirate guy. Okay. So now, let's see who we get in here. Okay. Let's see. It's weird that Mugman is one of the one and six figures. I would have thought Cuphead would be. Let's see, maybe I'll get lucky and get a rare figure in here. That would be very cool. So, oh, okay. We've got Satan. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Now, he is uh, a 1 in 12. Okay, so not all the 1 in 6 figures are up top. So, there he is. Looks pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. It's a nice looking figure there. Bit heavy with the horns. Let's see. Yeah, he kind of stands up. I don't know if you just lean in on the other ones, but you know what? We're going to leave them there. That's a nice looking figure. I think uh, overall they've done a very good job capturing the art style of Cuphead. 
And at E3 recently, they announced there's some Cuphead DLC coming with a new playable character, new levels. Pretty cool. So I'm really liking these figures so far. I think they're very nice. Oh, we've got... Is that Calla Marie? Is that her name? I think. Forgive me if I'm wrong. She's... Okay, so she's 1 in 36. So we've got one of the more uncommon ones there. The octopus on her head there. Pretty cool. It's a nice looking figure too. So that's one in 36. Okay, what else are we gonna get here? I'd love to get the, the Hildeberg figure. I think that looks really cool. But that's one in 72, so we'll see. I should be so lucky, right? Let's see. Okay. Who else are we gonna get here? Oh, this is feel something big and flat on the bottom there. We've got oh, it's the genie guy who's one in six. Sorry, genie guy, I forget your name too. He's on his little magic carpet there. Pretty nice. Uh, he's only one in six, so I'm sure I'll get another one of him. But man, he looks pretty nice. It's very cool. That's a really nice looking figure. I tell you, this is a nice looking set, man. If you're a Cuphead fan, this is this is worth checking out. Let's see. All right, who else have we got in here? Is this another genie guy? Oh no, this feels like a smaller one. So maybe the genie isn't right next to him. But we've got. Oh, cool. This is oh, oh Cagney something. Isn't that the name? I forget, the sunflower guy, that's really, really a pretty tough fight. I had a lot of trouble with this one. Um, and he's 1 in 36 too. So it looks like I've got two 1 in 36 figures, which means I probably won't get a 1 in 72, but hey, that's okay. It's still pretty cool. Really neat looking figure there. All right, you can hang out in front of the pirate since we have two of him. Okay. Well, let's see who else we're going to get in here. Of course, oh, this one's a little bit heavier, too. Interesting. Maybe it's the slot machine guy or the another pirate, uh, another genie guy, I mean. Wouldn't be another pirate. That'd be a little weird. Let's see. All right. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Can't tell who it is. Oh, it is the slot machine guy. Okay. Wow, that's pretty neat. That's yeah, cool. It's even got the little uh, platform in there that he shoots out. This guy's another pretty tough fight. Really neat. There's the frogs, and then they become the slot machine. That's that's a pretty cool looking figure too. And he is all right. He's one in six as well. So again, probably going to see another one of this guy. But I tell you, it's pretty neat. Pretty cool looking figure. All right. You hang out there, slot machine man. And let's open this up and see who else we get in here. We're getting all these cool bad guys. We haven't actually gotten Cuphead or Mugman yet. I'm sure they're in here. They must be. Let's get that. And we have, okay, we've got the other genie guy, which we expected. We already saw him. Let's move him off to the side there. All right, now this one's pretty light, so I'm going to guess this is either Cuphead or Mugman we're going to get in here. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, who we got? Who we got? Come on. Oh, we got Mugman. There he is. So... Very cool. I like the expression on his face. He's doing the, uh, the finger gun at you there. Pretty cool. All right. So we got Mugman. Now he's one in six as well. Oh, this one's a little bit heavier though, so I don't know who this is going to be. Maybe this will be another one of those slot machine guys. I'm trying to do the math here to figure out who the rest of these guys are going to be. Okay. 
Okay. Yep, there he is. Slot machine guy. We saw him already, so he can hang out over here. All right, who else do we have? Uh, we haven't had, we haven't actually seen Cuphead yet. It's pretty funny. I'm really liking this set though. They're they're very colorful. I do wish that they didn't have so many one and six figures, so I could have gotten more of the figures. But overall, I'm really digging this set. I think they're really nice, and colorful, and cool. And that if you're a Cuphead fan, you should check these out. Oh, speaking of, okay, cool. We finally got Cuphead. Hiking up his pants there, ready to do some battle. Nice, so he's 1 in 12. And we've got one more figure left. And let's see. Now, my guess is this is another Mugman, because he's 1 in 6, so that means I would get two of them. However, maybe I'll get lucky, and I will get a rarer figure. That would be very cool. Stranger things have happened. And we've got another Mugman. Okay, as I expected. So, there he is. So, there we go, guys. There's my Cuphead case. This is a very nice set. Uh, I, I do think they're very colorful. They really have captured the look of the figures from, or look of the characters from the game. So, if you're a fan of the game, this is worth checking these out. And, like I said, you should check out mysterymini.com. And there will be a link in the description for a that you could use to get a 10% discount on your entire order. There's no minimum on that. Uh, of course, it's not valid on sale priced items, but you should absolutely check that out if you want to get a case of these. And thank you again to mysterymini.com for providing this case to me. I really appreciate it. Check out their website. And you can also check out the other links in the description of the video for eBay and Facebook and Twitter and Patreon and all that good stuff. And I want to thank you so much for watching and keep on collecting.